Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the most religious game I own, Manhunt. And in the last episode, I want to say we watched the cutscene, but I can't really remember. It's been a while. We got ambushed by one of the ghillie suit wear. Oh, no, he had a barrette, a red barrette on, and he, like his ghillie suit cronies came out and like beating us up. And then they threw us into this situation. Well, we are about to teach this man a lesson. That he does not go messing around with Johnny Cash or whatever this guy's name is. Anyway, I have been doing a lot of painting the last couple of weeks. Or, well, the last week or so. It's been done for probably five or six days. Um, I painted my Nintendo 64 and my original Xbox. And some guy left a comment saying that I hoped it turned out well and I told him I'd show it in the next video that I recorded um see the way I have things stacked on my shelf my GameCube is on top of my 360 on the far left then there's a blank space because at some point I'm going to get a switch I don't know when um then I have my Wii PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 on top of my Xbox One X and then right next to it is a retro console it's called a retro duo it plays nes and snes games and then to the right of that i've got my n64 on top of my original xbox but here's the thing i wanted the design to make it look like that it was made together like the n64 and x because it fits like right on top of the xbox surprising and it just i don't know it, the way like the n64 is like kind of curved and the way the xbox is kind of curved just kind of just fits on there i mean i had to put two-sided tape on it to make it stick but that's beside the point. So when I did the design, I wanted it to, to look like it was together. So I had to take the consoles apart, take everything out of them, put them back together, and then put the consoles back together the way I was going to have them displayed, and then paint them. And I went for an Eddie Van Halen guitar type pattern, but instead of using uh, black and white or black and yellow or like his Frankenstein guitar that's like red, black, white, and yellow, or I don't know if there's any yellow on that guitar. I don't think there is. But anyway. Oh, it's kind of heavy. He's got all the guts in it. So it's uh, striped like his guitars are. Um, it's not perfect. This was the first time I ever painted anything, and I chipped the paint in some places. But it is... Uh, I'm very proud of it, the way it turned out. Um, I'm going to have to glue that. That little plastic piece on the front of the Xbox, when I took it apart, it snapped the little clip on the back of it. I have to glue that in. But it was surprisingly easy um, once I figured out what I was doing. Luckily, I bought some paint with primer already in it. I didn't know anything. I didn't even sand this thing. I really needed to sand it. I mean, it was kind of gritty to begin with, but you need to get that first layer of, like, wax off that first, just to rough it up so the paint has uh, something to stick to. Um, it's... I mean, it plays fine. You know, I didn't damage anything, luckily. I was really nervous that I was going to. Um, dude, that, that little plastic piece. But I wanted, you know, I had to mask off things I didn't want to tape. On the Xbox, I just maxed, or masked off the Xbox logo on top. But since the N64 was on top of it, it wasn't going to get much paint on it anyway. But I just wanted to make sure. Masked off the N64 logo. Uh, but one thing I wanted to do was to uh paint the buttons and then have the area around the buttons a different color so i painted the buttons black i don't know if you can see it that far away but the buttons like the reset button and the power on button is uh painted black and i wanted pink around it but i had to make sure when i did the pattern that it didn't like cross through it but on the xbox i painted the buttons black and i painted the disc tray the little plastic part that goes over the disc tray black and it just i I think it turned out fantastic. Um, I wish I'd have been a little smarter going into it, though, because I just, just it's frustrating. I mean, I can't really blame myself too much. I, I didn't know much about painting. I didn't know anything about painting, actually, and um, I'm really surprised it turned out as well as it did. It bled in some areas because I didn't put the masking tape on just fine, and these, these grills on the side of the Xbox, there was no way to make that paint not bleed because you'd have to get in the grooves with the tape and there there's just no way to do that they're too tiny um some places could have been better uh yeah i mean it works just fine i really dig on it 
and I'm glad I did it. Next time, I will definitely be more prepared. If you're ever thinking about doing something like this for yourself, make sure. Oh, and I did the controllers to match too, but they're in the the drawer. I didn't get them. Um, make sure you sand it down first. You don't have to be anything. You don't have to like try to rub through the plastic or anything. You just got to get like that first layer off to where the paint will have something to grip to. And then do light coats. This was done with literally two heavy coats of pink and black. And I'm that's one of the reasons why it probably bled so much is because that thick of paint like seeped under the the tape. Had I done really light, like maybe four, possibly five coats of really light paint, it would have been a different story and it would have made the process a whole lot easier. Uh but yes, this was done with two very thick coats of pink and black. Um, but I'm extremely... But it's going to sit like across the room anyway. So the little imperfections you're not going to be able to see. But I I really like it. I think I think it's fantastic. It devalued the consoles, definitely. Uh, <laughs> they're not worth as much now, unfortunately. But I didn't plan on ever getting rid of them. So And... And if I ever sold them, I'd probably have to sell them together as a unit because the design is the way it's meant to be. But yeah, yeah, there's, of course, you know, just got those things that I wish I'd have done differently. But anytime you ever do anything, the person doing, like the artist, is always going to be more critical of himself rather than other people. But I do like it. I hate that I scratched the N64 logo a little bit when I was using the uh, the carpenter's knife to try to cut the, the tape off. Um, hate that I did that, but... That's okay, you can't really tell. You can feel it. And where I chipped the paint, I sanded down some more of the pink area and had to go over it again. And But there's still like a little like elevation differences. You know, you can't see it, especially if the light doesn't hit it just right. But it's like I know it's there, and it <laughs> it bugs me to no end. But yeah, it turned out, turned out pretty well. I'm uh, very proud of it. I like it. And I've been playing a lot of Fable Lost Chapters. But right now, right now, it's time for manhunt and we're gonna try to do what we need to do but unfortunately it's not like I practiced this or anything um, I see two guys over there oh and I need to apologize to everyone actually ladies and gentlemen um, Just quit the shit. Let's do this thing. I had I I'm an idiot sometimes but just barely like I'm a serious idiot idiot sometimes but just hardly so this whole time, probably recording Kingdom Hearts as well, I don't even have a a weapon. I do not even have a weapon. Um, this whole time, I have been recording in 3-2 aspect ratio with a... Oh, oh, you got me. You got me, big boy. Oh, oh. oh. Sucks to suck, let me tell you. Get in there, get in there. Alright, so we know there's three of them. That's good. Damn it. Little rat. This whole time, I want to apologize for the the quality of video that I have given you guys. Uh, ooh, 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 that guy's coming over there, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure which guy to go after here. I don't know if that guy's coming back up or what. It's gonna be this guy. He will have no idea. Ooh, yes he will. Yes he will. Yes he will. Dang it! Oh, I can't dodge these guys. They're too quick. Oh. Alright, this this is a great start. Fantastic start. Absolutely. Um This whole time. The de-interlacer that I was using has made this game look a lot worse than it is. And I hope that... I saw I just turned it off and it looked immediately better. Like, it's not as grainy and it's not as, sh like, overly sharp, I guess, if that would be the word. Um, don't, don't bring it over here, man. Don't bring it over here. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to talk about this waiting on this guy with the heartbeat and the music i can't <laughs> too much into the game um yeah 
So I, it turns out I had the resolution set to like 720 by 480, which is like a 3-2 aspect ratio when the game runs in the 4-3 aspect ratio, which really doesn't affect like frame rates or or it shouldn't anyway. The way I have things set up, it should that shouldn't affect anything. But the problem is it wasn't. I didn't have it set up to what it's natively running, and that is like a pet peeve of mine. Like that bugs me. I want things to be as genuine and native as possible. So like 30 frames a second, 4 by 3. Uh, 640 by 480p, you know. Um, anyway, I didn't have all that set up. And the, the I don't know if it's like dependent on the game or what, but like I had to use a DN Relacer for Kingdom Hearts, but for this game, it looks better without a DN Relacer. However, there is one D Interlacer that OBS offers that actually makes it look like you don't have one on at all. So it, it's like this weird weird dynamic you got to play into you got to test it out and try it out and i'm hoping that now that i've changed like some uh some things um it won't be affecting like frame rate or anything like that and i won't get like desynced or anything it's like i'm trying to like, okay. watch right now i ain't going no further without my slack man what's going on with the the recording because it looks good to me on the TV but dude these guys these guys they think they're hard like that's the thing like they they think they know but they have no idea all right your cronies are dead big boy first man brings me his seven dick then ten thousand dollars that's a lot of money and that's a lot of guns too. I gotta get in this 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 corner, this dark corner. Please, please allow me to run into that corner without them knowing. Oh. I wonder if like this is the playing area, or if I have to go to them. Oh nope, I don't think they're coming to me. I think they are coming to me. Heck yeah. All right, so slow and steady once again. Cover my ass while I check this area. He's holed up around here someplace. Wish I had something. He's a goner. They're all dead, man. Don't worry. Is that the main guy up there? What if I could just slip up there to him and take him out without them even knowing? So I, I just hope the the whole there's not like too much blur or anything going on. That's one thing that, that I kind of worry about, like I try to move the camera around and see how it's doing, and it just looks kind of like in slow motion. To you guys, I don't, I don't know. I might be able to fix that. Oh, I hope I can get to this guy before he. Nope, nope, nope. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. They found me. They found me. You're no saver in there. Dude, how, how do they know? How do they know? They're so good. They're so good. Oh man, this is this is going to be interesting to say the least. So like like watching your guy's screen like I see a little like tearing like DNA lacing. I might I might have to change that to the other one on for the next video, but it does look a lot better. I can Sure. I don't know why the interlacer would like make the screen look like it does, but oh well. I'm not gonna fall for that thing again. I know there's like a come on, don't show turkey. Yeah, see if that guy was coming up there's and there was already a guy over there, so he would have definitely have seen me. I gotta wait till the coast is clear. Maybe we're far enough away from that guy down there. There you go. There you go. Just get lost, man. Just get lost. Come on. Come on. I got you. Uh, there you go. Nope. Not taking any chances. Go ahead and take him out. That'll be that. Turn around and run away. Like the little bitch I am. 
I've been watching like Russian badgers uh, videos on payday. Oh, I forget they have they have a staircase there. Dang it. Uh. Do the darkness, 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 darkness. Oh, this is not dark. This is not dark. This is not dark, man. There we go. I need to do some serious level reconnaissance before I, I run into this situation 10, 15 more times. Somebody had some pain pills. I wish there was a way to run a bit faster. I'm gonna go see what I got in here. Got a brick. Got some pain pills in case things get real. What is this? Plastic bag, okay, just in case. Um, Nerve wracking, if you ask me. Deep walk in there, tubby. There you go. Make sure there were stairs there. I almost got nervous. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up top and hide in the shadows up there, and maybe I'll get a better. <laughs> better like line of sight on the well not line of sight per se but better opportunities to do some some He's hardcore killing fools of us. get out there and find him I wonder if I could just go for the main guy though and if that would be a viable option all right into the shadows again all right if only I could save the game <laughs> Where's the save points when you need them? From what I could tell, there's not, like, like these guys aren't any more special than the normal guys, like the normal gangsters that you fight. Um, in which they, but I haven't like gone hand to hand with any of them, so they might actually be tougher because they're like military trained and you know hardcore vets or you know whatever mercenaries and whatever. Um, so I'm, um, so I don't, I definitely don't want to get in a fist fight with them, and especially when they have shotguns. I don't know if they're like playing it safe or what. That guy's gonna come around, or if. Because there's three of them down here, and I only got eyes on two of them. Weird though. Like. There's a third guy. Like the dynamic of them, like, not coming here until they have teammates even though he this guy's like walking right into the trap which would be nice if he would I probably can't do it him. what I can do is like try this again from right here because I, I mean he's obviously gonna come up here but he may not come all the way back to that corner I don't know if we got anybody. I didn't want to go for it there because I didn't know what that guy at the bottom was going to do. And I don't know where this guy that went to the left is. So it's a little bit nerve wracking here. Might be in the clear to get this guy though. I say that and like 
four shotgun guys come out of nowhere. Here's my chance to come out of nowhere with a shotgun. I'm not, I'm not going to go big on these guys. I, I don't know how much more difficult it's going to be, you know. That is not a hiding spot. Oh, God. Oh, scared me. No, no, no. Get back in there. Oh, come on. I was hidden for a second. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Why didn't I grab his shotgun? Why didn't... The controls did not, did not jive with me there, and it uh, caused some problems. This is going to be a long episode. That better be our little friend. I'm sick and tired of playing these stupid games. I wonder if the way these guys fan out is random. If they follow like a set pattern. All three of them right there. Well, got some moon to try out on that front. Excuse me. So say if these two guys would turn around, I'd go for that guy behind me, but this will work just nicely. Forget all this fetish stuff. Like we we need to get this done. This is like getting a pussy to play football. <laughs> what? So yeah, I'll check out the footage and see how well this deinterlacing is working. Another one for the zoo. No hold back, none. This guy means business. I don't care. I don't care. I, I don't care. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> this is not a hiding spot. See the scrawny bastard. Hell, he ain't nothing. This is not a hiding spot. That second one's pretty bad, though. I mean, honestly, it's. Get out there and bring me his fucking head! Oh man, I missed you guys though. I've been pretty busy. I had to put a wax ring on a toilet today, and it's it's a situation, to say the least. You have to do that stuff right. You have to focus. You can't be. Why is there no lights over there? It makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Oh no! Now I'm really uncomfortable. All right, big boys. Remind me to take your guys' I might need to take out these guys silently, but when we move into the building, I'll, it'll probably be like a, a guns blazing situation. Well, I don't mean to belly here, but I ain't going up there solo. Hey, chase them over this way. Gosh, I'm going to have to take these guys out silently, though, because I don't have a gun. No one else does. Like waiting for them to be alone is is like what this game is about. And if this guy keeps coming this way, I am about to take him. I better get an answer. If I don't, and his soul. Give me the air. 
Yeah, they heard that. So much for silent. How is that not good enough? How is that not good enough? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I can't do anything here. I'm honestly... Oh my god, these controls. I'm just... I'm so screwed. Oh man, it's been a while. Are you gonna, gonna get on out of here? Or are you just gonna stand there? God, I didn't grab that guy's gun again. Like, don't you hate it when you, you you tell yourself to like to do something and then you don't do it and you you just like stupid. <laughs> this guy's out here somewhere. There you go. Keep whistling, partner. That is the best way to get your head cut off. It's only you, man. You're all alone here. Aren't you supposed to be some kind of hardcore Arnold Schwarzenegger predator ghillie suit wearing son of a... Let's see how tough you are, big boy. Let's see how tough you are with the shotgun! You thought I was going to go for the stealth kill. No. Not this time. Not after all you've put me through. All right. Okay. I doubt he's gonna come through that door. So. Wonder if I can open the door. Oh, yeah, I can. This makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Moving! Fuck this turkey, let's stick him in the oven! <laughs> Guys, pretty far away! Wonder if he has to reload. Scam, there you are! Oh! Amateur! I wanted to be Talking about amateur, I just blew you away, man! guess that makes me the professional in this situation. Can I get some more health, please? Oh, that, that is the most beautiful save point I've ever seen. I'm, 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 I'm dead. I, I'm so dead. I'm beyond dead. It's not even, it's not even funny. If anybody ever seen the Hellraiser movie, Deader? That's, that's me right now. Lady boy. <laughs> Lady boy? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is nerve-wracking. Please have some pills in here. Pretty please. Pretty please. That would have been the perfect place to put some pills, like right behind that bed, you know? I'm sure a lot of people n would never look there. And I don't even get, you know, rewarded for my dedication of, to exploration. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is not the easiest level in the world. Can't take this guy out silently. I'd hate to get all the way up there. Oh, we got a save point. We should be all right. Gotta quietly and what's that word? Not meticulously, but uh. Methodically, that's the word. 
silently and methodically sneak up on this ghillie in a stairwell. <laughs> now who's the sneaker? You're the sneaker. Like there is going to be a surprise. Yep. 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 He's. Is he really bringing a knife to a gunfight? It's like that one scene from The Punisher with with Harry Heck, who is actually played by Mark Colley. Like you are one dumb son of a bitch bringing a knife to a gunfight. Finally know how Harry Heck feels. Hell yeah. The double kill. <laughs> all right, I, I will do this all day. I will corner camp these mothers till the cows come home. I don't care. I don't care. Right, and that is that is all she wrote for this this level. I think. I wonder who's left, huh? I think it's the big man. I think that's the only one left now. The big cheese, Mister uh, Mister Daddy Issues himself. I wonder if they think, like, they're in the jungle, <laughs> you know? Oh, you got me that time. You got me. I got to pull that trick so many times. You, you got me. You got me. I, I, need, I need some more health now because it's, it's getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, 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 oh. See that right there? That would be a way to have trapped me. It's like, oh, look, got health right here. Why don't you run at it as fast as you possibly can? And that's when somebody's standing right next to me with a shotgun. And we have problems. Okay. Oh, yeah. Lock and load. I think that's the big man himself, I think. He's not the only one up here. Kill from Humerez before he calls him back up. Where's he at, man? He doesn't have a gun, dude. Him? No. Where is he? Alright, surely I have time. If this guy doesn't even have a like a gun, I'm not I'm not swapping that. I'm not swapping that. I'm I will meet him downstairs, thank you. Oh, oh, hey. I was using the wrong button to target. I, I was literally using the wrong button to target. I hate myself so much. I, I try so hard to do things so right. And this is this is where we end up exactly where we started I guess it's not too bad I just need to corner camp a little better come on come on oh you whore Move it, corporal. I don't think so Like if it's just one at a time, it, it's fine, but... Jeez, oh, he saw me that time. Dang. Or if he's gonna... Well, I can't exactly... Because he's staring right at me. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's right. All right. I'll buy it. Okay. I'll buy that. Ha! 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 
I mean, I should have known, right? Like, my gaming muscles didn't kick in when it was like, kill Ramirez. I'm thinking, well, it's just going to be him. And of course not. It's a boss battle. There's never just you and the boss. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Oh, these are guys with the knives. I can literally just run right up to them. I don't think anyone on this floor has an actual gun. Sorry, you ain't gonna see nothing ever again. These guys have guns. I can't really remember. Yeah. It wouldn't be so bad if they didn't run together. Maybe, well, maybe I'll be all right this time. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they will do the exact same same thing. All right, Ramirez. Try this one more time. I literally did the wrong button again to aim at him. I was trying to aim when I was running. I This this is frustrating. I mean why game? Why do you insist? All right. I'm just going to get up there. I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. I don't care. Give me these knife boys. Excuse me. Thank you. There's just no more time. There's just, there's just no more time. I would very much like um, to not screw up this time. That would be delightful. Whore. I, I swear to God, man. Like, this is annoying. These It's like the controls don't work at the worst time. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. That stupid shit. God. It's too much. It's just too much. Like, I should have been invisible right there, but I wasn't. It's all right. It's fine. Uh, wow, one shot of that guy. I will take it. He could just shoot him point blank. Why can't he do that? Why you gotta you wanna get on that wall, man? I'd appreciate it. Nah, we're not gonna do that with this. Well, it's a good try, I guess. Go back and get that last piece of Wherever it was, I think it was on this floor in this room. No. I mean, why would they even give you a sniper rifle? You know? Oh no, it's the other room. Sorry. Obviously, going to turn to a close quarters situation. Well, we're still going to die. I mean, what? You know? Like, it's going to 
figure out how to the best place to camp these guys. We're not gonna put a bomb in front of that, that blue door. Like if I could take this. I don't think I can, which is fine. Like I know you're in there, Ramirez. Oh, you're in there. Okay, so let's try to do this the right way. And I would like to just run up on him and just shoot him. You know, that would be delightful to say the least. I love how like I can like corner camp them and then when I jump out like they just you know they can still shoot me like just as quickly that's that's great and there's no quick way to turn this camera around like I was upstairs the whole time All right. like how many more guys you gonna spawn big boy no way am I going in there on my lonesome. War dog, I need backup. Checking out something over here. He's creeping around like a drunk toad. Gonna give me some boop goo boom boom once we skin this loose. God, I landed that. Nothing will matter. We'll see. Oh, we're dead. Yep. <laughs> Got for those pain pills. And they keep sending guys with. Oh, I can't shoot him fast enough. Just keep sending these guys, man. Just keep sending these guys. Oh my god, I thought I saw him in there. Damn it. It's like, it's trial, trial and error, trial and, trial and error. Just keep going and keep dying until you memorize the spawns of everybody and then like, it'll be just fine. I don't know. What, what do I know? It's like it was all it was all well and good until. The guys with sniper or not sniper rifles, shotguns. Like as long as it's the dudes without guns, I'm fine. I'm fine, dude. I will be okay. I will. I will figure this out. But until then, it's like a friggin' nightmare. I don't want to get that paint, those pain pills, but I may need them on the way back down. I don't. We still got one more, and they drop health, which is good. But this is the last time I could try this for for this for today. Uh, well, not today. This episode. We're up to 45 minutes. I can't even damage it. There you go. Come on, guys. You ain't got me. Okay. <laughs> Run around like it. I forget that guy's like up top. He's not actually right next to me. That's a pop. Well, Michigan. Okay, 
And after, I think after this guy, it's a uh, just a bunch of knife guys. I think I don't know. Nice, you can hit him. Nice. What? Alright, we still got some health. We're we're okay. I guess a sniper rifle wouldn't be too bad at this, this juncture, but Look how he can shoot me a lot faster than I can shoot him. And I'm gonna have to. Oh, Ash, you need a bath. It's just whenever he reloads. Nice! Nice! Ice cold. Give me the pain kit. Oh, jeez. Let's not be stupid right now, please. We're not on a time limit anymore. I am having a hard time looking into that darkness. I can't see a whole lot of anything. Don't, don't, don't bring it over here, dude. Don't, 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 don't. You, the cavalry's arrived. Well, he's looking right at me. Somebody tag that bastard before he runs us all into the ground. Um, there he is. Didn't mean to do that, that but I will. Is. I will get right by you. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Woo! Woo! You gotta let somebody live, right? Get in, you idiot! Get in! Dude, a girl. There's there's women in this game. Pull over. Full over. It's a cardigan. Thanks for noticing. Who are you? I've seen your face before. Get off of me. I'm a reporter. I was at your execution. Keep talking. I've been following Starkweather's whole operation for months. Who's Starkweather? The guy that's been talking you through this whole circus of death? Look, I've got all I need to expose that sick bastard, but he's definitely on to me now. So I have to get back to my apartment, collect my material, and get out of town before I become another one of Starkweather's extras. You can bring him down, this stark weather? Absolutely. This is gonna make my career. Okay, let's go. Huh? To your apartment, drive! Very interesting. Very, very interesting. That took a long time. I like to thank for watching. You will keep doing you. I'll see you cats and kittens in the next episode that I might record right now, but depending on what time it is, I might not. Yeah, I'd say we could do another episode. It has been my absolute pleasure. Thank you for watching. Gabriel, keep doing you. What? Thank you for watching. Oh, shut oh, up. After this. Some of your boys to take care of it. Don't file the arrest report. Don't kill him either. Send both to me. Hey, remember who you're talking to. Listen, you fuck. It's your job to clean up this city's mess. That's what you get paid for. Okay, pull over here. But it's another block or two to my apartment. Shut up and stick with me if you want to stay alive. Oh, another escort mission. Yay. Press coverage. All right. Well, this has been an experience. Um, thank you for watching. Keep it real. We're going to get through this in the next episode. Keep it real. And peace.